Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video on how to add your own games to the NES Mini or the NES Classic Edition. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. And yeah, we'll be using the Hakshi2 tool. So there will be links in the description for downloads and everything. So let's just jump right into it. Alright guys, we're back. So let's go ahead and kind of go over the application, which is Hakshi2. Um, so yeah, I already went ahead and added one new game that's not currently on the NES Mini, but um, we have here the original 30 games, so you don't really want to mess around with that, at least I wouldn't. Uh, but you can hide certain games if you want to, um, you definitely have that option as well. But um, I'm going to go ahead and add one new game, so if I go down here to add more games, I'm going to go ahead and add Adventures of Lolo 2. And luckily with uh, the new version of Hakshi 2, you can um, add zip files. So you don't have to manually unzip all of your NES files that you may get from whatever source. Um, you can just go ahead and, you know, upload your zip file. Now the only thing you have to make sure is that the zip file contains just the NES file and nothing else. So no HTML files, no text files, nothing of the sort. Um, just to you know help the process along and not to like really complicate it or mess things up and then what we're gonna do right now we're gonna go ahead and do dump the kernel so if you want it says do you want to dump the kernel go ahead and do yes and then basically we're just gonna go ahead and follow along uh, on the instructions so let's do that Alright guys, so after you go ahead and connect the NES Mini to the PC using the USB cable, we're going to go ahead and hold the reset button, and we're going to turn on the power switch, and then after holding onto it for a few seconds, go ahead and let go, and you should have heard a beep on your PC saying that it was actually connected. And then if you want to go ahead and install the driver, go ahead. Alright guys, so once everything is set up and connected, it should automatically go ahead and dump the kernel from the NES Mini or the NES Classic. So while it does that, you can get your stuff organized, like your games and everything. But it's a very quick process, as you can kind of see. Um, it's pretty much done. And the kernel will be dumped in this dump folder which is wherever your Hakshi 2 application is and the folder structure and everything. So make sure not to lose it. It's very important in case you need a flashback to it and stuff. But uh, yeah, now we'll continue on in adding the games to the NES Mini. All right, guys, so I'll go ahead and just show my whole screen. So basically after you um, dump the kernel, you can go ahead and go to your directory where your Hakshi 2 is, go to dump, and that is the kernel image that you just dumped, so leave it alone, don't mess with it, uh, hold on to it for sure. And uh, yeah, so now that we did that, we're going to go to kernel and flash custom kernel. And it's going to ask you if you want to flash the custom kernel, go ahead and click yes. It'll build the custom kernel image. It'll do everything on its own. You don't have to touch anything. All right, now it's uploading the kernel. going to execute all of its commands to pretty much do everything uh, without you even really knowing. Um, I know if you're a very technical person, you can definitely do this without the GUI um, that's been provided, you know, using this Hakshi2 uh, GUI. But uh, for, the, for the simple user, this is obviously the best tool to utilize. Alright, 
it is done so you can now upload your games to the NES mini so let's go ahead and do that so we have Adventures of Lolo and Adventures of Lolo 2 both of those are games that are not on the NES mini on its own we'll go ahead and add one more game just to make sure that we're you know we're all good on that end um, let's do let's do Aladdin so sorry uses mapper but this mappers um all right let's go ahead and add it we're gonna go ahead and download the covers for all the games all right so we have all of the covers that we need which is great and then yeah let's go ahead we're gonna synchronize this, all the games to the NES mini so just be aware um, if you do uncheck any of these games especially the ones that you're manually adding uh, it will delete the games if it's already on the NES mini so let's go ahead and synchronize it's gonna build the kernel again it's gonna upload all of the games and then we will be able to check it out on the NES mini All right, looks like it's almost done. And sure enough, it is. So it says wait until the power LED goes out to restart the NES Mini. So just make sure that you don't do anything until that LED is actually out. And all right, looks like we're good. So we can exit out of this and we can continue on the uh, NES Mini. So I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, welcome back. All right, let's go ahead and check out our new games. So here we have Adventure Lolo, Adventure Lolo 2, and we have Aladdin. So look at that. All three games that we added are with the original 30. Um, so on the screen here you don't see all 30 but because of what Hakshi 2 does it basically allows you to do folders and you can put um, a certain number of games in each folder and it basically does it by like alphabetizing them and stuff so right now you can see this one folder it has from Kid Icarus to Zelda 2 so it has the rest of the games in this folder which is kind of nice you know it does help so it doesn't show all of the games on just one you know pretty much row um, but you can customize that as well uh, in Hakshi 2 so let's go ahead and just play a quick game let's check out Adventure Lolo and see if it actually works and just the fact that it actually loaded it looks like it does alright I've never actually played this, so this is the first time <laughs> that I am checking this out. Um, we must save Princess Lala. Okay. Okay, whoa. I've... Alright, I've never played this game before. Completely new to me. Oh. Okay. That is new. Oh, hello. Yay. What the heck is this? Hi. Mmm. This game is so bizarre. I've never played this game before. But the fact that it works and everything, you know, is really cool. Oh, jeez. Well, <laughs> 
Um, I don't know what happened, but after I collected all those, it... Okay, well, no big deal. Let's go ahead and reset. And so that's Adventure of Lolo. Let's check out Adventure of Lolo 2, uh, just to finish off this video. And looks like it works fine. Princess, did you get captured again? Yeah, looks like you did. <laughs> it's like Super Mario, except not. <laughs> Floor 1. Yeah, looks like it works fine. That's awesome. Alright, so there are certain games um, that don't load, and that's because of the the mapper and everything. Uh, you can look online and Google it up on you know what mappers are and everything, and how they actually correspond to certain ROMs and NES games. And once you do that, you know you'll definitely be able to get a better understanding. Oh. So that's what that does. Oh, oh, I get this game now. All right. Well, not a big deal. All right. So that pretty much takes care of the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it actually showed you what you need to do if you do want to add your own games to this NES Mini. Um, but thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and comment below. If you do need any help, I'll try and offer it as best as I can. Um, and subscribe to the channel. Um, it'll really help me out, and I hope to do more videos like this in the future besides the gameplay videos I originally do. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright, take care.